Good evening. We're continuing with the exercise. Um, before we put in any type of furniture, I want to hatch the interior walls. So I'm already on. I just have to change the layer <coughs> to a wall pattern. Um, go to arch tool. I'm going to choose <coughs> a solid and just um, select the walls. It's a little laggy. Zoom in. Let's make sure that you <coughs> get every interior wall. Seems good. Just in the corner here. Um, pick up this one here. Pick up this one here. And let's close the hatch creation. Now we're going to put in the reception desk. The reception desk. Here, <coughs> um, we will put in a toilet, shower, and the lockers. Uh, so let's change to the furniture and let's create start with the lockers. So create a rectangle <coughs> and any space, click on our area, type D. And the dimensions of this locker will be um, a 12 by 12. Well, that seems a bit small. We'll delete that. Um, my apologies, I forgot what, what units we were working with. Uh, we were working with uh, millimeters of metric. So we go back to this. Rectangle tool, click a corner, type D, and instead of 12, you'll put 310 by 310, click a corner. Now, you can see these dash lines is because the line type is set as this. That's going to be your properties. <coughs> Change this to continuous. Change all the furniture to continuous. Okay. Copy this or move this, sorry, to the corner here. And let's array this. So we're going to use the array tool. Now, we want about five one column, and the space between will be three ten. I've done the trick. Oh, sorry, the space between the rows is 310. Close the area. So now we have the lockers in this corner here. The question also asked for us to put in the bathroom with shower. I don't remember creating a bathroom. So we're going to go to layer properties, new <coughs> layer, we'll call it I, I, dash, part, dash, 
fix films. Or you leave it the same color. Continuous. Make it current. That's all of that. Let's create the bathroom here. So use the line tool. In this direction, we go about typical bathroom might be if you're using 18 by 18 tiles, about 3 tiles, 3 by 18 is 30 plus 3 by 18. Blah, 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 blah. For this, let me go. Let's do some research. So I'm going to Google. Bathroom. Shower. Size. <coughs> so we have this one here. So let's see. Oh, I'm not seeing any dimensions. Oops, do I have something here? Interior shower size is either 30 by 30 inches. So we will go about 40 by 40. Now 10 is 3, 110, 310 by 4 will give you over 1200. So you create a line. This direction 12. Well, oh, that's too big. So let's move this about um, 300. Easy line to come down about 900. All right. I right, offset this at uh, one fifty. So use the offset to one fifty. This right side one fifty. Is it so big? Let's just check the dimensions of this. 900. Let's see. So, actually, let's create a, a block dimensions 900 by 900. Let's explore this. So line two. Oh, um, so about a hundred. Actually more than that. Alright, so what I've decided to do is create the shower block and then insert it in the bathroom shower. So, first we're going to do a rectangle D 900 by 900. Then use the line to go in that direction about 300 and cut about 45 degrees. And this Break up, make sure and explode the rectangle or the square. Type in X, explode, select, trim. And then we're going to offset using the type in both offset. 
of set number 25 I represent the curve and you only need not just a for flat and for multiple use the line tool come at a 45 degree angle make sure you get that tracking right yeah. use this circle tool right over here radius of 25 use the new circle I trim TR trim clean up in the middle there using this line trim again select the whole thing type B for block must call this shower point Um, right, okay, select it, move it, put it on it there, copy this from one corner to another corner. That's a bathroom right there. Yeah. Next, they asked us to do this reception. So changing this to the furniture. And this this eyeball it I guess from the corner. So using the rectangle tool. Type in to, um D. The length will be negative fifteen hundred. And the width will be um, 24, 24 is 600. And if you add another 4 with 28 inches, 4 is so 700. That's the 700. 7. 700. That's it, it's fine. Now we have to, I want to put in a chair here, um, I'm not going to model a chair but what I'm going to do is if you go into insert, you go to design center, this has some predefined blocks that you can find, so if we go to home space planner, and look at blocks, you should see a chair here, let's drag it onto your screen and exit out of this. Use a chair to move it and then around there. Using what I will do is I will explode this using explode this using this to trim. Um, type M A select a create a block call it reception as box. We will use front here. That's okay. So now we have our receptionist desk. And what else did it ask for? Bathroom fixtures. 
So we have to also put in a toilet and a sink. So we do the same thing, insert design center. And this time we are looking for um, pipe fitting slash kitchen. Uh, what am I looking for? House designer blocks. So you use a uh, toilet, also use a sink, that should be good. So with this, move to this corner here. Let's move it a little bit off the wall. And with this, move it somewhere. Down here. So we have the toilet and we have the shower. What else did it ask for? Reception desk, locker cupboards. Bathroom fixes, we have our windows and doors, internal and external, and we have the name. So the final thing we have to do is to do the 10 important dimensions. Interior exterior to include overall dimensions, room dimensions, openings, and wall change in direction. Alright, so we'll stop here.